So you was going to get out there and ride the motorcycle and uh, keep the battery charged up, get some fuel through it, and you come bawling out of the barn over there, and you got clotheslined because the PED rats, the performance-enhancing drugs, the rats we got out here had strung up a piece of wire about yay high, and when you come barreling through the barn, the, the wire caught you right under the armpit, and you got clotheslined off the motorcycle. Here's the thing. I saw you take that tumble. I said, God damn, I think Teddy's dead. I come over from the house. I was expecting you not to move when you get up. And you walked over, and you shut the barn door on one side, and you shut the barn door on the other side. And I said, oh, good Lord, something bad's about to happen. And there's only one other door to the barn, Teddy. And that's that reg regular barn door over on the side. And then you shut that. I heard a commotion. I heard a bunch of shit getting knocked around. And I heard you call a high spot. I guess you grabbed one of those rats in a headlock. One tackle dropped down, reversed a hip toss. And you hip tossed that rat. I opened up the door. You went to drop an elbow on it. He moved, hit you with three goddamn drop kicks, grabbed you by the seat of your pants, and threw your ass out of the door I just opened. You come tumbling down at my feet. And you looked up at me, and you tagged me. I said, oh, this is a tag team match, huh? And you said, you're damn right it is. Go in there and give them hell. I looked down at you and I said, stay right here, baby bubba. I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> this is a true story, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Swig your crown, roll black. Swig a jack from the audience. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody got some popcorn up in this motherfucker? <laughs> Free box of popcorn. Anybody got a goddamn box? Get your popcorn. <laughs> Teddy, I walked up in that motherfucker. Once again, they had made the issue personal. I said, all right, you guys done fuck with the wrong motherfucker. I said, you could have fucked with me, but you fuck with a friend. You fuck with my baby brother. Man, you get me in a lot of fights out <laughs> God damn. <laughs> I don't know whether to be glad you're out here to run you off. You're getting me in too much trouble. <laughs> Teddy, I went in there, and I just told him like it is. I said, I want every one of you motherfuckers to come on out here and show your face. And all of a sudden, about six motherfucking rats, average weight, about 230 pounds, shredded, 4% body fat, presented themselves. I looked down at myself, and there I was in a pair of tennis shoes, camouflage shorts, a mismatched camouflage shirt, and another mismatched camouflage jacket. Guess what I had on me, Teddy? Pocket knife. Goddamn right I had a pocket knife, because every grown man that listens to the Steve Austin show ought to have a pocket knife, and every woman, if there is a woman that listens to this show, ought to have a pocket knife, too, in case... You're in a situation like the one I'm about to describe to you. Teddy, on the count of three, those rats charged me. I didn't want to go for the knife at first. I wanted to make it a fair fight because I told them. I looked them all in the eyes. I said, brothers, I said, there's six of y'all and one of me. Y'all might want to go get some help. <laughs> and they said, no, motherfucker, there's six of us and one of you. And he said, let's get it on. I said, Teddy, and I told him, I said, don't sing it. Bring it. And Mr. They Come and Running. And they came, and they was coming with some heavy artillery, everything but the kitchen sink. And I went into Bruce Lee mode. You ever see Bruce Lee movie? Yeah. You ever see when he makes all those noises when he hits a motherfucker? Oh, yeah. And you remember Bloodsport when Jean-Claude Van Damme, we used to hit a motherfucker with that little heart punch gimmick? Mm-hmm. That's all it was up in that son of a bitch, me taking care of those rats. And then all of a sudden, out of the blue, one of them blindsided me, hit me in my bad leg, my knee, my left knee. I just had an ACL, PCL put in that goddamn leg about two years ago, blindsided me and started putting the boots to me. And I said, oh, shit, here's where they work up a set of heat on the baby face. They had me go on for about two or three minutes. I finally took an opening. I saw an opening. I took up my knife. 
and made a couple of slashes, kept missing, kept missing, and one of them hit me behind the, in the back of the head with a bucket, and I went down. I didn't go out and stayed with it, but I dropped the pocket knife. I went to go reach for the pocket knife. It was laying on the floor of the barn, and right when I was about to reach that knife and make one more go for it, one of those rats stepped on my arm. I looked up at the rat. The rat looked down at me. Rat had a shovel in his hand, and I said, oh, shit, this is all she wrote. This is how it's going down for Stone Cold Steve Austin. Bam! Come busting through the door, Teddy Fowler. Goddamn, the rats looked at you. I looked at you, and I seen the rage in your eyes because of the fact they had done kick the shit out of you, big brother. He was coming back to help a motherfucker out. And I said, what in the flying fuck is Teddy doing with two chainsaws, one in each hand? And you had a skill saw tied to your foot. (laughs) This is a true story, (laughs) goddammit. How did you tie that skill saw to your foot? (laughs) Duct tape. How did you, okay, you're right-handed, but you had the skill saw taped to your left foot. What were you thinking? You just... Try to cross them up. Try to cross them up. Cross them up. They knew you was a righty. You righty, went to the yeah, left side. Yeah. You fucked with them. Get in oh. there. Get, switch to southpaw. And switch to southpaw. Yes, sir. Teddy coming there. Two chainsaws ablazing. Steel chainsaws. Not just anybody. Not just any chainsaw. Steel chainsaws. We're gonna go name brand. <laughs> the best on the market. <laughs> See, correct. you can use a McCulloch chainsaw, but sometimes they they gum up. The carburetors go south on you. So you had a steel chainsaw tied to each hand, so they couldn't get the chainsaws from you. All of a sudden, blood and gut starts hitting me in the face. Teddy's doing damage. You done kill five out of the six rats right when you're making a swing for the last one. He evades and hits you with the punch. And, Teddy, you went down. You was laying there dazed. The chainsaw on your right hand cuts off. The chainsaw on your left hand cuts off. The skill saw becomes unplugged from an electrical outlet. You're powerless. You don't know where to shit or wind you watch. You're seeing cobwebs. You're seeing two of them, but there's only one rat left. I'm laying there, still selling. Been dazed as a motherfucker. These rats have worked up a hellacious set of heat on me. I'm in 100% cell mode. I'm defenseless. I can do nothing. Watching my baby brother succumb to the wrath of a rat who was infested with the performance enhancing drugs. And that's when I knew he meant business. When he reached over into the tool holder and stood over you with the pitchfork in his hands. And with everything I got, I reached within myself to start pulling myself closer, closer and closer. And I was picking my head up and I was making a motion trying to stop the pitchfork from coming down into your chest. And he curb stomps me. And all I could do was lay there with my head tilted to the side and watch as what unfolded next. All of a sudden, as he looked at you and said, hey, fuck you, motherfucker. He drew that pitchfork up. Up, up, until both of his arms were extended. And right before he could bring that pitchfork down into your chest cavity area. (laughs) Hershey the Wonder Dog comes bounding through the door. The only barn door that was left open hits the motherfucker with six Chinese Death Stars, each one severing a major artery. I watched in slow motion as he dropped the pitchfork. It bounced across the cement, inches away from your orbital socket where your eyeballs reside. And you let out a big sigh, and I looked over, and I said, that's my girl. (laughs) Hershey the Wonder Dog, save your ass. Hershey to the rescue. Saved my ass. Saved our collective asses here on the Broken Skull Ranch. And Teddy, that's what they say, a dog 
is man's best friend. How's that for a good story? Yeah, I like it. <laughs> I'll drink to that. <laughs> God damn it, Teddy. What'd you think about that? It was very entertaining. <laughs>